Okay, I'm a little nervous for this video. This is gonna be a little different than my other videos. I'll explain in a minute. Anyway, greetings. My name is Mr. Josh, and welcome back to another family home evening video. Roll intro. This is the night of family home evening. Grab some friends and come join me. And welcome back. Okay, basically, I press the record button. Here's how this is gonna go. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Backing up. That's gonna be stuck in the video now. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do this whole thing in one take. Like, one take. Like, I pressed the record button earlier, and I'm recording myself right now, and by the time that this, like, once I'm done with everything in the video, I'm gonna press end, and that's all the footage I'm using for the video. It's one take. And there's a possibility I might add in edits later, but I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to add in more videos of me. This is all we're going to get. It's going to be one take. I thought this would be a funny idea. So there's not going to be many skits. The funny part's going to be you watching me mess up and you get to see a little bit more of the real me is what I'm kind of going for. You'll see what I'm like when I mess up. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So yeah, I did write a bit of a script over to this side over here and that's because I'm really nervous but it's fine so I didn't write out the whole thing so I'll be referring to this that's why I a whole minute and 30 seconds of time and you guys have been stuck to listen okay I'm sorry I gotta I gotta go <laughs> now that I've explained the rules this video is gonna be about uh, I guess self-confidence I got I guess it's mostly gonna be about getting things done like do it like, if you are, you love writing, but you can't get yourself to write, or like, you love reading, can't get yourself to read, like, something is stopping you, it's that weird, for, for me, I get this all the time, so if you relate, then great, you relate, but this is what, I'm, I'm introducing the video this way, this is how we're going. So, why do you think it is that right before we do something good, that we even like to do, why do you think that that will suddenly fit a feel a feeling that's trying like to distract us we'll get distracted we'll procrastinate why do you think that happens all the time why don't we just do the good things that we want to do and i'll let you pause the video right now to discuss it with your family and if you're by yourself you can talk to a mirror and um yep go ahead and pause all right now that you're done with that because Satan. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, I believe there are evil spirits on the earth. It sounds weird when it comes out of my head. But yes, there are evil spirits on the earth. Satan's minions. Bad influence. Whatever you want to call them. They're, they're, they're there. And they are influencing us to do anything but good. And right as you're about to do something good is going to be when they want to mess with you the most. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem that we need to figure out how to beat. And I'll let you pause the video again. Yes, I'm going to be doing the whole pause the video thing to discuss how you think we can fight Satan. If you said shovel, you know, that was my first thought too, but it turns out you can't really hit him. He doesn't have a body. So yeah, we have to use something else. All right, you're probably probably back by now because you're able to pause the video. I forget that you can freeze time like that. Um, script, help me. Okay, basically, have you seen the movie Rise of the Guardians? I might show a clip of it right here, but you know the part at the end, they're fighting the boogeyman, and the moment that he decides to not be afraid of him anymore... He's completely powerless. Still think there's no such thing as the boogeyman? I do believe in you. I'm just not afraid of you. All of his power came from everyone's fear. So yeah, um, the boogeyman is basically Satan. It, it works the same way. 
if we don't fear that influence, then we are free from it. But then something else happens. People who are not free from this influence that is causing them to fear might be bothered by the fact that you, subconsciously, okay, they're obviously they're not trying to be mean. Some people are trying to be mean. They'll notice that you aren't being affected by it, and they'll bother you because they're being affected by it and is trying to get at you. Does that make sense? I hope so, because if it doesn't, it's too late. I'm doing this in one take, and it's going to be in the video, and if I stutter, then, well, that's, that's going to be in the video, too. <laughs> but yeah, basically, be aware. I know this sounds kind of kind of dark when I think about it. I want to end on a happy note here, okay? Okay, sunshines and rainbows. Just, I, 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 like, when I was learning about this stuff, in like the gospel and everything like this was like blowing my mind okay like a lot because just learning that okay if I can get over the fear of fe if I can get over fear itself then I was able to get myself to do things that I wanted to do like I wanted to read a book but I for some reason I get this weird anxiety and I wouldn't get to it but as soon as I realize Aha, uh -huh, Satan's trying to get me to do that. I don't know, something about learning that there's opposition and that it's not me against me, but like something might be influencing me makes me feel more powerful because I'm like, I'm a win. Okay, so I really hope that made sense. I really hope that this provided some sort of entertainment for you. And I hope you had a wonderful family discussion. And yes, this did not really go along with the Come Follow Me manual for this week, nor did I quote any scripture, but... That's, that's what we got for today, okay? It's a little bit different. I, I hope you still like it. And if you like it, then like it.